What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars Achievement Guide. This time we're doing One and Done, which is score the winning point in a game of Keep Away against Legendary AIs. So you can do this in 1v1, unfortunately it has to be Legendary, um, but it's Keep Away, it's basically capture the flag, and the flag spawns at a random point on the map. So I like to play on Blood Gulch for this, and I play against any Covenant Leader because they don't have very fast units. Uh, I guess they, have, they start off with a Ghost, but I like to... Just use a bunch of Warthogs to counter that, and they tend to lead with their Arbiter or Brute Chieftain or Prophet of Regret, whoever uh, their leader is. But obviously the Warthogs are much faster than those units, so they tend to not play the game itself very well. So what you want to do is build a couple Warthogs to start and build a reactor and a supply pad to start. And then just send your three Warthogs, because you start off with one and you built two. So send those guys out to the middle of the field. And you can see I kind of planted them more towards the opponent's base uh, rather than exactly in the middle. They're a little further towards the opponent's base. And the flag, quote unquote, is actually a sentinel. So a sentinel will appear on the map. It'll appear on your mini map, so you'll be able to pinpoint exactly exactly where it is, uh, and it's somewhere randomly in the middle of the map. So once he appears on the map, you just drive on over and grab it, and whichever unit of yours gets to it first will quote-unquote capture it. And you don't actually score the point until two minutes elapses, so you have to kind of hold out until uh, two minutes passes. If your unit that's carrying the flag dies before the two minutes passes, then the flag just disappears and you have to wait for it to respawn again. So there's no ability to pass the flag or kill the flag carrier on the other team and grab it. But the Warthogs are pretty good because you could upgrade them to have the Chain Gun and then the Grenadier and then you could also upgrade them to have a Gauss Hog uh, if you even get that far. This is usually a pretty quick game even on Legendary difficulty. So obviously I was saying that you want to start off with a Supply Pad, a Reactor, and build a couple Warthogs, but obviously as you're going throughout the game, that's just the starting point. You want to keep upgrading your Warthogs and you want to keep upgrading your base. By the end of this game, I've upgraded my Warthogs to have a Chain Gun and a Grenadier and I actually build Barracks as well to get some Spartans and I throw my Spartans in the Warthogs as well to make them more effective. So it's first to three and basically you just uh, grab the flag. You want to stay in the middle of the map because that's where it spawns. Grab it when it spawns and then just drive to a safe location. I like to stay on the cliffs. It's a little tougher for the Arbiter and the Brute Chieftain to come up at me uh, over the cliffs because they have to walk up one way. The Prophet of Regret has a little bit easier of a time uh, if he gets to the point where he upgrades his unit to a flying unit, but he probably won't even get that far. So as you can see here, I'm fighting the uh, Prophet of Regret actually, and you just do that three times and you should be good. Uh, especially with the Warthogs because you could drive away if you ever start getting attacked, even if you're on the cliffs, which is fairly safe. Uh, not totally safe. They sometimes attack you there. But even if they do, just drive away uh, on the other side to safety because they can't travel very quickly because the Warthogs are one of the fastest units. The only danger really is that it might get blown up because it's not the healthiest unit. It doesn't have the most armor, but it's definitely the quickest. So it's the easiest to grab the flag and then hopefully protect it by just running away the whole time. You could also do this 2v2 if you'd like, but you just got to make sure you're the one to capture the third flag. All you need to do is capture the winning point, which is just the third point for your team. And that is it. That will get you the achievement. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch at Silver Scorpion 4. And check out our Halo Conversationalist podcast. And I will see you guys later for more Halo achievements.